Welcome back. It's a Thursday morning, 8.42 a.m. You're watching BT. And is there anything cuter than watching Tasha Chu down at the BC SPCA checking out some great pets who would make a lovely addition to your family, I think, right, Tash? Yes, Simi, and uh, I'd like to introduce you to Amelia. I think that's the cutest name, too, Amelia. Mm. Uh, we are in the rabbit room uh, with Mary, who's uh, one of the volunteers here. And Mary, how long has Amelia been here for? Oh, about three months now. Three months? Yeah, she's a, a very young girl, and she um, wasn't old enough to be spayed when she came in, so she'll be spayed pretty soon and available for adoption. And that's what we forget too sometimes with the BC SPCA is that it just it isn't just cats and dogs. There's there's other animals to be adopted and there's lots of rabbits. We have many rabbits and we have lots of gerbils, hamsters, guinea pigs, chinchillas. Okay, so I'm gonna put Amelia back in here. So there we go. Now, what should people know about rabbits before they adopt? The main thing to know about rabbits is that um, they're a major commitment. They're like dogs or cats. They take just as much work. Mm -hmm. They're just as expensive. They're not cheap animals either. Yeah. Um, they live for 8 to 12 years, and um, that's really... Uh, a long time for people and many people get rabbits for their children and they're not really the best pets for children because um, kids like to pick up animals and squeeze them and hunt them and rabbits don't really like that because since they're prey animals they think they're about to be eaten when oh, they get picked up. Yeah. Always on the fritz. Yeah. Um, some kids are great with rabbits but uh, usually they're they're better pets for adults. And who's this? This is uh, Kazuri. It's a Swahili word for small and beautiful. And um, he's a lion head. You can see he's got this little ruff around his head. Yeah. And he's a lovely little guy. Now, can rabbits be litter box trained? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But again, uh, spaying and neutering is really important in that aspect. Because that changes their temperament, too, Absolutely, right? yeah. Um, they, they do require a little work in training. Mm -hmm. But uh, they, you know, they, it's easily done. They do tend to leave turds around, though, because they mark. <laughs> it's okay. just a territorial thing. And their turds are just ma mainly dried grass. It's not a big deal. They don't um, smell or anything. And who's this? This is Cypress. He's a new guy. He's a lovely little white bunny. Oh. White rabbits quite often have red eyes, but his are blue. And um, he'll probably be neutered quite quickly because he's a very, very adorable oh, little guy. There. See, he thinks he's about to eat him. <laughs> and oh. he's just a lovely guy. Well, thank you very much, Mary, for giving oh, us that oh. tour. Love the music, Dave and Simi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can hear that. Oh, oh, I can hear it. I can hear it in there. Um, but yes, all the rabbits are up for adoption. Of course, all the information for any of the adoptions on our website at uh, citytv.com slash btvancouver. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Dasha. <laughs> <laughs> he does